That's still it. the best welterweight in the My world. Goodness. And there is a wow. new record holder for the longest wow. winning streak in UFC welterweight history, wow. Kamaru Usman. Gilbert wow. just fell back and hit his head on the stool. Hey. Wow. Kamaru Usman. Take it what from who? You know what it is. You know. Take it what from who? And I gotta say, if you thought the win head. over Colby Covington felt good, that DC. That is even more impressive. John's more impressive. He switched southpaw, so instead of it coming as a right hand, it came as a jab, and it just froze Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns did really good in the first round, but as the fight got going, Usman just completely took over. That was a championship level performance by a man that should get his respect in Kamaru Usman. Yeah, Gil Gilbert is crying. He's yeah, and look at here. Usman. He's destroyed. Overcome with emotion. Bided his time, did Gilbert Burns. Waited six years to get himself into a championship setting in the UFC and started strong tonight, but it did not go his way. And his longtime friend, former training partner, Kamaru Usman, watching intently. I think most fans around the world are excited to see these two athletes embrace here. <laughs> And, and Gilbert Burns is going through it. You know, I can speak to the emotion of this moment. You know, whenever you work so hard for something and think that you have, you have the stuff, and it just doesn't work out. Who's you next? I mean, here's, here's the question. Who's Leon. Next? Leon Edwards, I mean. Yeah, but Leon Edwards hasn't had a fight in a long time. I mean, he's supposed it, it to fight. Getting, it keeps getting rescheduled. Hopefully he can get a fight coming yeah. up because Usman needs someone new. Yeah. And look, yeah. man. Let me tell you something, Joe. I don't know how a guy that's been as dominant can be underrated, but Kamaru Usman's still underrated. They don't respect him in the way that he should be getting in the world of mixed martial arts and sports overall. This kid's a star, and he should be respected in that way because look at what he's doing to the scariest men in the world yes. at 170 pounds. I mean, he's, already, he's got the perfect nickname, right? The Nigerian nightmare. He is a nightmare. Yeah, well, is. How do you beat that? I mean, and the guy's in his prime. And getting better. He's getting better. better. He's getting, getting better. better. The official decision is brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Guaranteed Rate can save you money on your monthly mortgage payment. Visit rate.com to get started. One final time tonight, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. <laughs> Man, these you know, guys. This is private. This is between yeah. these two men, but I would really love to hear what they're saying. I can only imagine this is very emotional for both guys. Happy it's over. And uh, hope they go forward in their relationship. But you watch NBA players raise their jersey. That's one of those moments, right, where you, you don't get to hear the words. That's for Gilbert and Kamaru. And hopefully, the words that were said in that moment allows for them to go forward, uh, rebuild whatever gap may have been caused in the build up to this fight. And uh, the champ stays the champ. Well, you know, the good thing is it never got disrespectful. It was Not always hard. competitive, but it never got disrespectful. You know, they're just competitive. They're, they, you know, Gilbert wanted to be the champion, and now yeah. he knows. Now he knows. There's levels to this game, and man, come on.